Alright, in our last video you might remember that we learned how to extrude. In this video I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to show you guys how to dimension. Really important skill to have. So for this I am going to go up and start a new drawing. I'm looking for a sheet of paper with corner bent over. I can also click on file and then new. So it's another way to do the same thing. We will continue to do an English file and that file will be a standard inch IPT. So I'm going to create that drawing. Here is where I need to click on Start 2D Sketch. Hopefully you are remembering some of these consistent patterns of clicks that we make. And as you know, we're going to use the XY plane. So I'm clicking on that space right now. Here is my XY coordinate. I like to start my drawings there. And like in the last video, I'm just going to draw a simple rectangle. However, as I've been drawing, I've not been paying attention to size. This time, I will. So I'm going to go up to this tool right here, known as the Dimension Tool. I'm going to click on it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the width of this thing, or the distance along the x-axis. I'm going to click right on this line. You can see I go over it, it turns white. There it is, it's purple. Here it is, it's white. I click on it with my mouse. I pull my dimension down, so I'm just moving my mouse down. And right now I'm going to click, and then I've done what's called placing a dimension. It tells me the exact size that I drew that at. Now, it's a pretty random number. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a number large enough to make this pop off the screen. Just so you've seen that, you don't freak out about it in the future. So I'm going to go with 3, and that'll be 3 inches. I'm going to click this green check mark. And this is where a lot, of, a lot of folks would freak out. No reason to freak out. Remember, we have this cube up here. I'm going to click on the word front. And it zooms my screen out so I can see the entire 3 inches of that part. So this is 3 inches wide. I'm going to go back and click on the dimension tool. This time I'm going to change my Y distance. So this would be the height. This is the line that I'm going to click on. There it is purple. There it is white. Click on it. Move my mouse off to the left. I'm going to click again. And this one I'm going to make a 1 for 1 inch. Hit that green check mark. And now I have a dimension part, but I need to make it go three dimensional. So I'm going to click, do you remember it from the last video? I'm going to click E for extrude. So here I am clicking E on my keyboard. Don't love that zoom. I'm going to go up to the cube and hit the corner. And a pretty common thickness, let's say this was a piece of wood, a pretty common thickness would be 0.75. So 3 fourths of an inch. So I typed in that number. I hit OK. Now I have a fully dimensioned part. I am going to change the color, so I'm going to right click on this extrusion one. Go down to properties. And I'm going to see if they have oak. Just kidding. I'm going to see if they have red oak. There she be. Red oak. Hit OK. And now I've got a piece of red oak that is three inches wide, one inches high, and three-fourths of an inch deep. That's dimensioning at its most basic form. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've liked this content, please hit the subscribe button in the center of your screen. We appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for our next video.